I've got three fun geometrical examples for you to work through in order to strengthen and test your command of partial derivatives. All right, I've got three exercises here. Each one features a different function. And the idea with all three is to find all of the partial derivatives of the function. So for this first exercise here, z equals y cubed plus 5xy, there are two partial derivatives that you can find, and so you should find them both. For exercise two, we've got the surface area of a cylinder. We've got the function for that, which is a area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So find all of the partial derivatives of that function. And third, we've got the volume of a square prism. Here's a square prism with a cube cut out of its center. This cube here, <laughs> that volume V is described by x squared times y minus z cubed. So find all of the partial derivatives of that function as well. All right, for the first exercise, here is your equation. You should have found two partial derivatives, del z, del y, and del z, del x. Del z del y comes out to 3y squared plus 5x, and del z del x comes out to 5y. For exercise 2, we had this equation here, and again there are two partial derivatives, del a del r and del a del h, and the first one, del a del r, comes out to 4 pi r plus 2 pi h, and del a del h comes out to 2 pi r. For exercise three, we had this equation here corresponding to this fun diagram that I made. And there are three partial derivatives because we have x, y, and z, three input variables. So del v del x comes out to 2xy, del v del y comes out to x squared, and del v del z comes out to negative 3z squared. Hope you enjoyed those exercises. Up next, we're covering partial derivative notation. I'd also like to note that if you'd happen to like a more detailed walkthrough of the solutions to all the exercises in this video, you can check out my Udemy course called Machine Learning and Data Science Foundations.